This is a video on how to flash in your overkill tune using HP tuners. It's a very simple process, but I just want to outline it because it's easier to see it visually. First thing you need to do is open your VCM suite uh, editor, VCM editor, and open your file. So go to file. You know what? I won't use the touch screen on so you can see. Anyways, open. It's all kinds of tune files here, but I'll have your tune labeled as uh, what type of vehicle you have, and then your name, and then overkill. In this case, I'm flashing in this customer supercharged file, so I'm going to select here, and I'm going to go to open. Okay, now at the top here, you go to flash, go to right vehicle. Now on the screen here, you're going to have uh, two selections because this has an automatic transmission. Your top one's the engine. Your bottom one there is your transmissions, TCM transmission, ECM engine, and then you got drop down menus here. It says right calibration. Now in this case, I'm just going to show this because I don't want to write the transmission tune. I've only updated the engine tune. So I can go down here and I can select do not write. And now it's going to write the engine computer, but it's going to skip the transmission computer. Just as an example of how to do that if I request it of you. So I'm going to take the key, I'm going to stick it in the ignition, and pardon me, because I'm doing this on camera, and it's kind of, there we go. And I need to turn it so that your cluster illuminates, but that you have uh, the engine off. Do not flash it with the engine off, and if you have your HVAC, uh, turn that off right now so it's not draining any battery, and you want to wait for at least 10 to 15 seconds. So as I've been chatting here, this is enough time. I can now click right. And the process is going to begin. There will be lots of uh, warnings that come up. Service parking assist. It may say uh, service traction control. You can see the ABS codes on. This is all very normal. The right calibration shouldn't take very long at all. It may take up to a minute, but in this case it's almost done. And just like that, it's completed. I'm going to click close here. I'm going to go back and turn the ignition off. And now you want to count until 10. And then you're going to reinsert the ignition key and you can start the vehicle. That's all there is to it.